On today's video, we talk about why you don't want the housing market to crash this year. What's going on everyone? Adam Torch here, your top real estate agent. So I'm making this video because it's start of 2021. And I know if you've gone through the 2020 market as a buyer, you know what it's been like out there. You've seen tons of my video or you're currently getting beat on almost every offer you write and there's nothing out there. But a lot of my buyers are asking uh, or wanting, I think, the market to crash. And let's talk about today why it's a bad idea for the market to crash. So currently right now, the why is low, I think for multiple reasons. One, where do you go right now? Two, uh, elderly people are not allowing people in their homes. And three, we do have people that aren't able to make their mortgages, so they're just not selling and uh, they're not being evicted or being foreclosed on. So we have low supply, low rates, equals a crazy, crazy seller's market. So you're thinking, well, shoot, Adam, why don't I now want the market to crash? Well, currently right now, when you're writing an offer, say the house is listed at 450,000, good chances that the house is priced right, it's gonna sell for 470. And then you, of course, we've been talking about no appraisals or paying cash gap, right? So you're thinking like, screw it, I want the market to tank, prices will go down, I'll be able to finally buy something. The problem in this is two reasons, one, Currently right now, you're getting beat with people that have cash, right? Or have extra cash to pay above appraised value. And so they're paying above the value of the home, but currently the market is still going up. So you're thinking, Adam, why would I pay for a house above appraised value? That doesn't make any sense. And it might not, but kind of in both scenarios, you're gonna pay what more than the house is worth. What I mean by that is currently right now, you purchase a home above the appraised value, you're just hoping the value keeps going up for what it, what you paid for. Well, in a crash market, it's going downwards. So whatever moment you buy, that value of the home is gonna keep going down. And so you currently uh, might be paying at the appraised value, but in the market's on a downward trend, a month later, two months later, three months later, your home is not gonna be worth what you paid for. it. So in both scenarios, you're gonna be paying above what the home is worth. So let's get that out of the way. And then two, in a crashing market, you're gonna have tons of supply. I think rates are gonna stay low because I think the US is built on um, low interest rates. I don't think we'll ever see really high interest rates. I don't think any Fed's gonna come in and blow up the economy to bring up rates. That's a whole nother video. Um, but when, the tank, when it's going down, you're not gonna be fighting with investors because investors don't wanna buy when the market's going down, but they're gonna start buying when the market starts going up. So the only way you make it well in a crash is that if you buy when it's still going down, because the moment people start seeing it going back up, what ends up happening? All the investors are gonna rush to the market with cash, so they're gonna beat you, and because they know that it's gonna go back up in value and they're investing in that property. The other problem when the market's crashing and say you're dealing with foreclosures or short sales or things like that, those homes are, you're dealing with the banks. And in the banks, those houses are sold as is. So if currently right now you have really no money, you're definitely not gonna have any money when it comes to when the market's crashing and the seller who's currently living in the property, you know, last time we saw them breaking pipes, ripping walls out, taking anything they can from the property, those properties are sold as is. So you're gonna have to come up with the money to put the house in the, uh, in the condition that you need it to be in. The reason why we don't want the market to crash is for two reasons. One, you're gonna pay above what the house is worth here. You're gonna pay for more when the house is here. Two, you're getting beat on cash right here. You're gonna get beat on cash right here when the, the market starts going up. And then three, these homes are gonna be sold mostly as is. And so if you don't have currently have the money now, you're not gonna have currently the market then. So what am I, what my advice to buyers out there? If you're in this market right now, hang on. We are gonna see a flattening point right? That flattening point when supply has to go up, I think this summer, because we're going to see the more people putting their house on the market because of the vaccination being out. We're going to see sooner or later for the people that are unable to make their mortgages are going to have to put their house on the market. And three, now I kind of think we kind of know what's going on in this uh, pandemic. More people are going to feel more comfortable putting their house on the market. So when we see supply start cranking up, we're going to have more of a flattening market and that's your best chance to go out and buy. So don't expect a, uh, a massive housing crash because I don't see that coming. And two, remember you don't really want that to happen because if the housing market crashes, the economy is crashing and that's not good for anyone. 
Because remember, the last time the market, housing market crashed, a lot of people lost their jobs. And so if they lose their jobs, you're not gonna be able to buy anyway. Hopefully this video helps. Comment below if you have any questions. Tag anyone that needs to see it. Share it to everyone because I wanna shoot 45 educational real estate videos and this is number one for the year and uh, we got 44 more to go. So until next time, peace.